Three Musicians Who Hated Neil Young and Why Neil Young is a Canadian singer, guitarist, songwriter, and social activist who is widely regarded as one of the most influential musicians of his generation. With a vast collection of classic songs and nearly 50 solo studio albums, Young has built a substantial and loyal fanbase throughout his career. However, despite his success and critical praise, he also has a significant number of critics. Here are three musicians who hated Neil Young. David Crosby. Crosby had huge success with two seminal bands. The Birds pretty much invented folk rock in the 1960s and after Crosby was sacked from the Birds, he joined forces with Graham Nash from the Hollies and Stephen Stills from Buffalo Springfield to form Crosby, Stills and Nash, CSN, one of the first supergroups. With Neil Young, they became a super supergroup. All four were exceptional singer-songwriters. The collective made some beautiful songs together. David Crosby spent years playing alongside Young in the sporadically active folk rock supergroup but Crosby hated Young. In 2021 Crosby told The Guardian that Young he is probably the most self-centered, self-obsessed, selfish person I know. He only thinks about Neil, period. That's the only person he'll consider. Ever. Young and Crosby had a complicated relationship over the years. Crosby's issues with substance use contributed to an ongoing climate of hostility and competition in which the bandmates would refuse to speak to one another. In 2014, Crosby made headlines when he called Daryl Hannah, Young's girlfriend at the time, a purely poisonous predator. George Harrison. George Harrison was painfully honest at times, so he didn't hide his hatred for Young and his music. Long before the star's demise, the quiet Beatle brutally shared his thoughts on other musicians in the industry. In particular, he trashed Neil Young's music, especially the track Around the World, saying, I can't stand it. The feeling wasn't mutual though, as Young loved the iconic group, even admitting they inspired his career. During a 1992 recording session with Bob Geldof, George criticized Young's singing, saying, I hate it. Yeah, I can't stand it. He commented on Young's unique singing voice and pointed out his lack of vocal talent. At least, George did it with a lot of self-deprecating humor, adding, his singing is even worse than mine. But, he wasn't the only Beatle who hated the singer's music. John Lennon never held back on his opinion when asked about Neil Young's song, Hey Hey My My, out of the blue. He said, I hate it. It's better to fade away like an old soldier than to burn out. If he was talking about burning out like Sid Vicious, forget it. I don't appreciate the worship of dead Sid Vicious or of dead James Dean or dead John Wayne. It's the same thing. Making Sid Vicious a hero, Jim Morrison, it's garbage to me. I worship the people who survive. Bob Dylan. Dylan's music influenced an entire generation of fans and many of his peers as well. Dylan's hate for Young comes down to one song, Heart of Gold. It's one of Young's biggest hits, and Dylan's complaint about the song was that it sounded so much like him that he should have written it. Speaking to Spin in 1985, he criticized the song's similarity to his own work, admitting that at one point he hated hearing it. The only time it bothered me that someone sounded like me was when I was living in Phoenix, Arizona, in about 72 and the big song at the time was Heart of Gold, he said. I used to hate it when it came on the radio. I always liked Neil Young, but it bothered me every time I listened to Heart of Gold, I'd say, that's me. If it sounds like me, it should as well be me. There I was, stuck on the desert someplace, having to cool out for a while, he said. I needed to lay back for a while, forget about things, myself included, and I'd get so far away and turn on the radio and there I am, but it's not me. It seemed to me somebody else had taken my thing and had run away with it, you know, and I never got over it. 